Uh, good afternoon Malaysia, today is the 24th of July 2013 and I'm at, uh, you can see there, you can see Eon uh, shopping in the city here, the purple sign that says Eon Let's see... Yep, that's the one Shopping center near Ipo Garden So this is Cafe Team and this is a 360 view of the place and there's a Peking Pan Mi as well, the curry noodle Pan Mi and we have the MH uh, Hotel and there's a Kedai Ala Permainan or Rev the Revolution Collect Si Permainan Toys Action Figures and Collectibles uh, mainly on Transformers and stuff and next is the Pan Mi and you can see I like this Pan Mi so I'm gonna go and ask them about the food. This is the condiments, the, the sambal belacan which is nice here and also the pan mean here is excellent. Hello Sai. How are you going to get a pan mean? Corn low? Ah, yeah. Ah, Oh, ying demo. Oh, ying demo. Oh, yeah. So, we have uh, the normal one thing is a potato leaf. Ah, uh, corn. Here, potato leaf. Uh, normal size. Ah, uh, corn. Ah, corn. Ah, that's a. Ah, chow. Ah, chow. Potato leaf, you got right? Potato leaf, you got My? Puchak manis. Puchak manis. Okay, then this. And this is a choy sum. And this is a fried. You can't believe so, fried. Uh, what do you call it? Anchovies. So. And this is a fish balls, which is not part of the palmin, but I think it's for something else. And also because of the choy sum. I think it's for something else which is a uh, pan bean with fish balls I think yeah I've never tried that before but uh, for traditional pan bean with pork is 4 ringgit and hey uh, kisi yao sick ah? on a Tuesday they are closed this store itself uh, okay so this, they are making the pan bean which you put in the pot and the soup the soup is normally is uh, anchovy based so so they put that uh, punchak manis uh, leaf into the soup and uh, inside the bucket there they have the all the what you call noodles so they take it over pan my Oh, okay. custom made, uh, huh? Kastiki kyore cho timyong timyong. Oh, okay. So it's something like uh, sao fun, which is uh, custom made. So to their specifications, they don't need to like knead the dough themselves. Uh, now they're doing the dough. Yo, chai hai YouTube. Say YouTube, so mong ah, ah, tang yak ko, yung ko, ah, sin na. Oh, yao ah, chiki website ah, yao. Ah, yan de yan, okay. Iyo kiu me meng ah. Oh, chido, le yu store le. Iyo yao meng mo ah, just ba min je la ha. Okay. Cafe tin ba min ah. Oh, okay. So they put the pan mi inside with the soup itself. And that's, uh, I think it's soup based pan mi in that uh, metal bowl. Uh, something like a Korean type of bowl. 
and uh, the special thing about this ban bin here is they use this uh, uh, sauce which is pork and I think uh, oyster sauce and Chinese mushrooms. Do you have a hoi sin chop? Yes, traditional, but the meatball. Meatball? Oh, meatball is going to go. Oh, this is the meatball they tradi they do it themselves. And that's the ban mein, the, the soup one. I really like the the sambal. The sambal is very nice. The sambal is good, right? Sambal is good, right? How's the sambal? Hmm. Take off. I order by the you. What's the other you? Ibo. Ah. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Okay, thank you. Uh. So I'm going to sit down and uh, hopefully. Actually, I prefer to sit somewhere further away. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 So there are other things in this uh, uh, cafe tea and they are economy rice, which is. All right, with all the foods here, and today I'm gonna to try the uh, the uh, teh ice also because uh, I've tried here before. The teh ice is quite nice, and they have Malay nasi lemak as well, rendang ayam, the Malay fare, and uh, seafood noodles and chicken wine and noodles, and they have that uh, Western food as well if you like Western foods. And this is a rundown of the whole place. Mi rebus and mi curry, yao chao kuei also is available, and uh, homemade ribeye chop pork chop bun. Penang uh, fried kwetiau is also available. Okay. Hey, Loban, ah, pay on your go. Day ice, ah. Chop chop bin, chop bin. Okay. Okay, thank you. You thank you. Oh, okay, thank you. So, normally in this, uh, you're going to eat the ban mean around here, you have to wait for quite some time because there are a lot of people. A lot of people ordering it. Ah, hello? Oh, normally you have to wait like 30 minutes or so, so that's uh, quite a long wait. Peter, go and chew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the condiment here, the sambal belacan and also the chili padi, which is uh, basically, I think it's Thai chili padi, which is not spicy at all. So that's one of the complaints that I have. I love my food spicy. So see you in Malaysia in the part 2 of this Cafe Teen Ban Min review. See you, bye bye. Uh, this is Jericho here and this is the second part of my review of Cafe Teen Ban Min. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, I think I said it already 24th of July 2013, it's a Wednesday. And it's a very hazy day, the haze is back in Malaysia and especially in Ipoh. I think it's the first time that Ipoh has experienced the, uh, the haze in 2013. So, and this is a Jericho production also known as a wait a minute production so I have the sambal here which is excellent so unfortunately sambal this is very strong once you've eaten it I mean for me every time I eat it I will surely have to go and uh, take a dump uh, so it's a very good you have, you have, if you have constipation this is the sambal to eat I mean it is delicious but uh, sometimes it can be very very strong so as you can see here this is the ban mi the ban mi uh, made up from flour and egg if I'm not mistaken so this whole thing this whole set this is dry ban mi from cafe tea it is 3 ringgit and 60 cents so it's not bad for for this uh, it's not yet reaching 4 ringgit which is the KL standard so thank god for that and uh, this is the what 
pun pucuk manis or puncak manis, I'm not sure. So this is not the potato leaf, but it is something else. I don't know the English name. So it's only the soup and also the puncak manis. So let's see. I really like the 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 vegetables or leaves here, but there are rumors that says that don't eat too much of this because it gives you something which is something I don't know but definitely that something is not STDs and as you can see here there's a drink that I ordered from Cafe Teen which is hay ice or hay ice iced tea with milk I'm not sure I've ordered coffee because I'm damn sleepy on today Mm. If you ever come to Cafe Teen and Nipo Garden, make sure you try the iced tea because it is delicious. It's not sweet, but the the tea and also the milk, the condensed milk, I think, it is really, really tasty. Very, very tasty. So I think one ringgit and 70 cents is pretty okay, I think. So it's like, this is like almost half the cost of the, the food here. So uh, let's try the soup. The soup is excellent. There's a lot of uh, anchovies in it, or seafood base, uh, most likely anchovies. And the sambal is good. Even without tasting it, I know it's good already. It is delicious. And as as I said earlier, I think these are Thai uh, chili patties or chilies, small bird's eye chilies from Thailand, which are not spicy at all. Nope, nope, not spicy at all. Okay, it's a bit spicy. I better drink something. So let's try this one. Uh, this is a pork. Very, very soft and tasty. And taste the Chinese Chinese mushrooms, some hoisin sauce. Uh, I think it's hoisin sauce maybe. You can taste the dark soy sauce and light soy sauce and whatnot. It's not salty at all, thank God. And what about the noodles? The noodles is. Al dente, it's not too soft, not too hard. Excellent. And it's covered with the 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 pork sauce, which I think has a oyster sauce. So it's a very good taste and consistency towards the meat. And the fried anchovies are crunchy, very crunchy. So. Eat the banh mi with the sambal. It's excellent. Cellulose content for you to shit properly. So, per, as per the usual order, this is very spicy. So. Wash it down with a very nice hay ice or iced tea. So this uh, video comes with a disclaimer warning that says this has pork, so it's non halal. So for you Malays and Jews out there, uh, don't try this. 
even though it's delicious. But if you are Anthony Bourdain or Heston Blumenthal or Gordon Ramsay or the Vietnamese guy, I forgot what's his name, or you are Aaron Craig. Oh, okay. I've been to Amen. Oh, 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 I've been to Amen. So is the the owner of the army store wants to wants to know about the address that I'm gonna post this video in. Unfortunately for her and for everybody else, I have a backlog of like say one or two months worth of videos. I've been posting a lot of videos and I just don't have the bandwidth to upload most of them because. Uh, the internet connection in my house is a bit slow, so the, I've got so much to actually upload. It's not even funny. Mm. It's so sweet, delicious. So as I was saying, if you are the AFC presenters or Food Network presenters, like. Uh, Laura the uh, Laurentis or you are Guy or you are the Erin Craze um, or you are like the Chef One come and try this pork based noodles it's just delicious I know it's water and I know a lot of uh, those uh, Muslims uh, they tend to sneak out and eat something so even though they are not they are prohibited, prohibited from doing so and I know as a fact that some Muslims they do enjoy their pork, definitely. But they, uh, of course they have to eat it uh, hush hush. So the I have tried many pan in Malaysia. Uh, mainly in Ipoh there are two good stalls, which is this is one of them at Cafe Team which is near the Jai Jaspo shopping, Kinta shopping center and another one which is even cheaper is around the Gunung Rapat Gunung Rapat area uh, after Star or Sekolah Tunku Abdul Rahman and the colleges there uh, after the RTM around there there's a store that sells Ban Mi and it's really really excellent as well almost similar to this here and one day I'll go there and show you guys about the place Unfortunately, the waiting time for that place is also fucking long But it's longer than here actually Here is uh, maybe 30 minutes maximum There maybe can be one hour And I tried the ban mein in uh, in KL, and uh, the ban mein that is in question is uh, called curry ban mein. I think uh, chili ban mein, and it was so spicy, it was so delicious. They give you a separate chili, which is fried, I think, and you put it onto your ban mein that has a has a raw egg, a yellow or raw egg, and Oh my god, that was excellent. That was like, that was five stars actually. Five star chili ban mein. That was very very delicious. Actually one day I need to try the ban mein which is opposite here. The cafe team, uh, just opposite. Which uh, specializes in curry ban mein. And as you can see there. That's the one with the chili ban mein. I better talk less because my food is getting cold already. Oh, 
so without further ado, it's time to rate this thing. And then, I know that ratings are actually bullshit. It's based on the uh, person's uh, uh, taste uh, or based on Jerry Cole. Jerry Cole's taste, like my taste. But, I mean, uh, especially in the gaming industry uh, where Metacritic or whatever type of fan site uh, rating system is sometimes a joke but as all cooking shows or critic, food critics goes um, I just have to give it a rating out, out of 5 stars I would definitely give this uh, 4 stars out of 5 so it is pretty good it's really really good and it is pretty cheap as well right? Three ringgit and sixty cents, not bad, not bad. So, as usual, if you are ever in Ipoh, come to Cafe Teen, which is near the Kinta Shopping Centre or Jaya School. Oh, sorry, it's not Jaya School. It's formerly known as Jaya School, but now it's taken over by Aeon. So it's around that area, behind the near the Hotel MH, and quite near the North and South Highway. So. You pass by Ipoh, just come around here, go to the Kinta shopping center, ask around for cafe tin, order the banh mi, and you would have a splendid time eating this thing. Especially the sambal. The sambal is excellent. It is sweet as well, a bit of sweetness to it, but the potency is, it is very, very spicy. So I think I have nothing much to say anymore. This has been a Jericho production, also known as a Wait a Minute production. And see you Malaysia. Bye bye. Oh yeah, if you ever stay in Ipoh, you can stay in all these uh, dodgy looking uh, shop hotels. Uh, like say Highway Times Inn, it's only 30 ringgit and it's 24 hours uh, check-in. So yeah, you can just come here, stay for a night for 30 ringgit. Of course, uh, 30 ringgit seems to be a lot of money to me. Uh, I'd rather buy a high-grade Gundam, a pirated Gundam that is, than to stay here. So my next trip to Penang, I will be doing some uh, camping uh, in a field, in the, in the gardens or next to the beach. I'm not going to pay 30 bucks or more, most likely 16 ringgit, which is at the Tune Hotel in the middle of uh, Ponta City nope, 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 I'm not gonna pay that, I don't want to pay such things if I want to take a shower or take a piss I'll piss wherever I piss and I will take a shower or a wipe down in McDonald's or whatever uh, eateries I've been reviewing surely I ask them whether I can like wash myself in the toilets and therefore they would ask oh you're not staying anywhere no I'm not staying anywhere oh we have a place in our house can you come and stay with us oh that would be excellent so see you Malaysia and bye bye very very good food very very good food indeed